Stuff ain't cheap. No. <laughs> stuff are expensive. Yeah. Even the products that, even the little trinkets and right. the straw hats and shirts they sell in downtown, they're expensive. They harboring, I mean, they like attacking the tourists. Hey, come buy this. You want this? You want this ride on this horse and whatnot? Like, you know what I mean? And the carriage. Uh, like, you can't, there's different approaches. We can't be so aggressive. And you, like, you can't be downtown begging the tourists. They, they won't want to come back. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, but we working backwards if you're doing that. We yeah. have to work together. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, but people just gotta decide to change. It can't just happen. You no, know? like, it took, like, this country really got messed up by a lot of greedy people and people taking it's advantage of this. Just corruption, <laughs> people taking advantage of the system, you know, so it's not gonna be fixed overnight. Like, everybody has to wanna change, you know? Mm-hmm. Nah, but we got stubborn. We, we as Bahamian people, we stubborn. We don't like to change. We don't like to admit that we're wrong. Simple. Mm. Hey, right. people might get it after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not in that lifetime. Maybe our kids. Yeah. But then that means that it's up to us then. If you think about it. I mean, after a long enough period of time, I believe, like, I believe in evolution, so. Yeah, but. Uh, after. Are you trying to see that inside our life? I know, know, but we could, we could plan to see it, you know, mm-hmm. create that spark. But just be patient and probably understand that it's not going to be a quick process. It might be 20, 30 years from now. It's still not a lifetime, but it's going to be an arduous task to really infect the community with this type of thought, like this type of idea and belief about the way they should treat one another. Right. We got to do something out of it. Mm-hmm. Whatever, whatever came with that, um, the thing that I thought showed us, where the people, like, they could go down and make the first ever strike or something like that. What's that? The Bahamian thing, you didn't see that? That's right. It was like they was gonna go down go somewhere and protest or something the vital all like you didn't see that? No. no. It was on I'm trying to show you. How long ago was that? It was like two weeks ago or something I saw it, but I don't it was supposed to happen sometime. Or I don't know if it happened. Or I don't know if it was real. Nah, yeah. yeah, um no, I didn't really hear about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how do you feel about that lady who drove up Montague. Boy, they 
it happened before and I can't really know it. It happened. <laughs> it happened before. You know, not to make light of the situation, but it yeah. happened 30 years or so ago. Really? Yeah. It happened. A lady drove up for a ski dog or something like that. With the kids in the car. I um, didn't even know that. Yeah. And my mother actually told me about it a long time ago and she was saying that she was going through a similar situation. Well, not really knowing the woman's situation, but mm-hmm. she felt that type of way at one point in her life, you know. Not to go into too much detail, but she mm-hmm. wanted to, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I understand how people can get to that point. So you always try and just love people and be there for people because you never know what they can be going through. And life is really, really difficult. You know, people make life difficult. I mean, and it's the system that we live in it makes it really hard for people in certain situations. Like it, it comes down to what you're saying, when you're from each other. Yeah. Right? What it wasn't. It was said that. She went to the police, right? And like I think she well, she was living at a motel at the time, I think. Mm-hmm. And all the money was gone, and she was out of the motel. She went to her family; they didn't help her any, or anything like that. And you know, it wasn't anything else. Anyway, like, so and she probably was even thinking like of a way to protect the kids from yeah, the life of their mother. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like if she were to kill herself, you know, her kids there, yeah. probably going to foster care. The rifle or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and then they ain't gonna live no you know, life. Yeah, that's the, yeah, you know, they ain't gonna live the life that they would have their mother. It's so. a messed up way of thinking, but I think she's like, let me take them out of the world yeah. so they don't have to suffer, you know? Yeah, so everybody, you know. Yeah, yeah. Didn't she live? Didn't she live, right? Nobody she, lived. No, I thought... Uh, At least I don't think anybody lived. Yeah, so it's like, I think that's what, that's what she thought that was gonna yeah. be for the better. So, you know, like, not justifying it, yeah. but... You she don't know it. how much that affected everyone else, though. Yeah. She's trying not to hurt. But that's really who she loved, because she went to her family, mm-hmm. and they didn't really take care, so... Yeah, well, let's say she... They may even... The once, they may even... The just gave her food, like, two places. You see what I mean? So, w- what is somebody doing in a situation? Star? You know, I tell people, like, uh, I don't know, do we have the organizations over there? People, over here for it's people? money for that type of thing. I know, it's, I know but the money people is aren't, there. People aren't putting enough into it, no? and people aren't caring enough for the small amount. Uh, I told people, I, told, I was talking about this yesterday, I mean, the other day, I was like, we have a lot of people who are mentally ill, like, like not just, like, diagnosed, we like, non-diagnosed people. Who kind of crazy? Who got depression? Who going through all types of messed up thoughts, domestic violence? They got to deal with like people who going crazy. Like if you look at the older people, like all them crazy people walking down the road, talking to themselves. Cause like, there's this dude on this bike who rides through my like around my area every night. Like he harmless. I guess he coming from work, but he had like plastic bag on his head. Yeah, yeah. And there's they always have a backpack on. And he has a helmet over the plastic bag and he just drives past, yeah. st- staring and talking to himself, mm. full conversation. Yeah. Rowing his like wife or something like <laughs> that. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like we have all these problems and they're not being addressed. Then, you know, like, these, all these autistic these, children. And these are still people. You know what I mean? <laughs> these are we people. functioning with they work in they yeah. Yeah, they have positions. But the, like even inside the, major you know, businesses. Yeah, but and, like even out of that I just take the regular Jones on the road, like that's a human, like they still can think, you know, like mm-hmm. people might say they're crazy, but they can function on a level that, you know, all things are to being constant, just say they're not crazy, mm-hmm. and they sound mind, but they have a problem like the drug addiction. Yeah. That person is still a human, like at one point in life they were functioning normally, exactly. you know what I mean? So they may not be able to get back to that perfect, that perfect state, state, but they can they, be back to functioning.